Hello, this is Kronan here with an H1Z1 update video for version 1.60 and 1.61 for the PS4. I'll be showing patch notes with examples. So version 1.61 was 268.3 megabytes, but they didn't really have the update notes for that. So on December 13th, they came out with it, and it says the sleigh ride crate is now available. Jingle all the way to victory with jolly new outfits, weapons, and vehicle skins. Complete your Nutcracker collection or unwrap fresh festive looks for your KH43 and CNQ. You can preview all of the new items directly in-game. I'm not sure what they meant by the previewing. You can get 55 for 5,000, 28 for 3,000, 11 for 1,500, or 2 for 400 crowns. Those are the crates. There's the Jolly Nutcracker, the Jubilant Nutcracker. There's also the Loving and the Serious ones, which are the legendary items in here. They have the Chill Kringle Off-Roader, nice colors there. The Toy LMG, the Rudolph uh, KH, which has a nice animation going on. The Snowball Fight emote, you know, uh, makes sense for the season, but it would be nice to see the actual Snowball. The gingerbread ARV, the text is backwards there, looks nice otherwise, maybe that's like a comedic effect or because of the way the mesh works. So I missed a few items there, like the Nutcrackers collection, you have the Chill Kringle Parachute, the Festive Desert Eagle, the Sleigh Ride CNQ, Holiday Greeting Pickup Truck, the Gift Wrap Scalp Rifle, the Drum Backpack, the, Fest or the Rudolph Glasses, Nutcracker Gloves, Jolly Combat Shotgun, Frosted Marauder, the Festive Scarf, I think fixing the ARV was tougher than it sounds because they have to change the way they handle the skins of that and the snowflake ATV is also there. So all premium battle pass owners will receive 5 sleigh ride crates free upon logging in after this update. So it's nice for the company gifting the items to the people, you know, extra stuff. Sleigh ride gifts for you, Open se own season 2 premium battle pass and get 5 sleigh ride crates for free. And keep an eye on the message of the day for a new survey. We're looking for your feedback on the latest gameplay updates uh, this is this weekend so it's nice to looking for player feedback trying to improve that's really nice of the company uh, message of the day your opinion matters to us community survey here are the questions how do you feel about h one and how likely are you to recommend it to a friend and what game modes you play the most it asks you about how you feel about the power of some weapons if they're underpowered overpowered if you've used emp bolts successfully you've been stopped by it and how do you feel they've changed the game and the vertical controller response sliders if they've helped you to aim better or you don't really know about them. It asks you about the combat shotgun, if the spread and fire rate adjustments, how they were, along with the high speed vehicle exit damage, if the damage was too much, too little, just right, and if it was obvious when you're going to take damage or if you'd want an indicator. The marketplace, they have the deep sea diver set for 4,500 or 685. Also the Dragon Motorcycle Helmet, Aurora Skin Jeans, and Heavy Assault Skull Mask. It's cool, the set, they have that there, and the mask looks nice. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed watching this video and would like to see more, my last video is on the left, the newest one's on the right, and a recommended one should be in the middle. Please consider subscribing to be notified of future uploads and to further support the channel. Thank you.